I miss Jennifer and Les and Tashawn and Nick, and I miss everybody. This show is so boring by myself. <gasps> Welcome to the Good News Network. I'm your 37-time award-winning news anchor, Chaz Pandemic. This is the Good News Network, all good news, all the time. And speaking of good news, reports of toilet paper shortages have decreased. However, reports of house teepeeing have increased. Well, that's good news, I guess. But speaking of good news, the story of Paul continues. Last week he was jailed, an earthquake set them free, and they shared the good news of Jesus with a jailer whose sins were saved by the good news of Jesus. But the story continues. Surely, after being locked up and thrown in jail, Paul and his buddy Silas decided to take it easy. Let's check with Jennifer Quarantina and confirm. No way, he didn't slow down one bit. Paul was telling everybody that Jesus is alive. Everyone, everyone. And then some people even just started beating him for it. They were like. <laughs> wow, not only is that not good news. Jennifer, you need to immediately stop drinking coffee. Your hyperactivity is concerning. But due to the fact this is the Good News Network, I know the story continues. As a matter of fact, I imagine the police showed up, arrested the people that beat Paul, and saved the day. Let's go to our reporter, less crowds in the field, to confirm. <laughs> no, Chaz. Actually, they showed up and arrested him and put him in chains. <clears throat> Back to you in the studio. This is not good news at all. As a matter of fact, I'm concerned that our award-winning show will soon be canceled. Don't worry, Chaz. It's good news. Hit the button. Chaz, it was amazing. As the soldiers were taking him to jail, they let him stop and talk about Jesus. Paul shared that he used to be mean, and now all he wanted him to know was about the love of Jesus, even the ones who were beating him. It was amazing. On behalf of Jennifer Quarantina, I'm Les Crowds. Back to you. Wow. That is good news. Talk about twists and turns. Paul even told the people that were beating him the good news of Jesus. Let's look deeper into this report. Read with me in Psalm 107, verse 2. Let those who have been set free by the Lord tell their story. He set them free from the power of the enemy. Paul had been set free free from his anger and his madness when he met Jesus and learned the good news. And we can too. All of us have a story and every story matters to God. Speaking of stories, let's go back to Les. That's right, Chaz. Our breaking story is yours. And here's a discussion question for you. Have you ever shared your story with anyone? And now I have a question for all of you. Who is someone that you need to share your story with? Press pause and discuss. Well, that's all the good news for today, folks. On behalf of the Good News Network, the Journey Today Show, and all of our friends and family at Go Curriculum, I want to thank you for watching. This is Chaz Pandemic, signing off. <laughs> no, Chaz. No way, Chaz. He didn't slow down a bit.